Okay, for 8b, notice that we have another one with common factors, so we're going to pull out the common factor from this one. So first, we look at with this one, we see that sine is a common factor, so we're going to pull out a sine. So we're going to factor out a sine, and we get tangent theta plus 1. And we're going to set that equal to uh, 0. Okay, so take out the common factor. Like the problem we did before in 8a, what we're going to do is, because it's set equal to 0, we'll use the zero product principle and we'll take each of these individually and set them equal to 0. So sine theta equals 0, but tangent theta plus 1 also equals 0. We want to look on the unit circle for each of these and first we'll look at any place in the unit circle where the y value equals 0. If we just draw a little uh, unit circle here, just for reference, you should have the actual unit circle in front of you when you do these problems. But for sine equals zero, that's where the y value equals zero in the unit circle. That's going to happen at these two places. It's going to happen at uh, zero degrees and pi. Now technically we go back to two pi, but our interval does not have two pi included. There's a parenthesis on that. So because it's not included, uh, on that one. That means that our answers are just going to be for the first one uh, 0 and 180. So 0, 180 will be, or actually we got to use pi here because we got to write our answer in radians. So we'll put 0 radians and pi radians. And those are the two answers for the first equation. Now the second one, we want to set this equal to tan, uh, uh, solve for tangent. So tangent theta equals negative 1. So we want to find uh, all the angles on here where tangents equal negative 1. Now that's going to occur when the y value divided by the x value on the unit circle is equal to negative 1. Now tangent is negative in the second and fourth quadrants and that's going to occur at the 45 degree or halfway point reference angle for each of those. So you have the first, the first one here, and then you have the other one uh, down below. So the first one is 135 degrees, or if you, you convert that over, uh, uh, working with that, you're going to get 3 pi over 4. So theta is 3 pi over 4. That would be the angle in the second quadrant. But the other one is in the fourth quadrant, and that angle there is 7 pi over 4. So this problem is going to have a total of four answers. You'll put all four of those down uh, on the answer blank. Uh, 0 pi, 3 pi over 4, and 7 pi over 4.